culture. Well, here is um, very different. Um, England is It's felt no, no, that uh, my students and indeed my, my, my colleagues as well, the adults have got far more to learn um, by coming here than we have to teach. You know, we've got more to we've we've got more to learn from you than you have from us. In in a way, I suppose that's the way of putting it. My students have attended lessons in school. They learn a lot about themselves. They learn a lot about what's important in life, which is not the technology, which is not um, you know, how much money you have. It's the kind of person that you are and how you interact and relate to other people. And that's definitely been the case every time I visit Uganda and this time every bit as much. Um, we did some cooking which is quite cool. I would love to be able to like cook like that when I go home. Which so I would like to like put what I've learnt here into practice in England. I hope perhaps uh, some of them might want to cook in the home. For example, if I ask them, have you cooked, have you prepared meals? A lot of them won't have prepared meals in the home. So that's a good thing for them to do. Uh, there's a lot more convenience food in, in, um, in, in the UK. Uh, Ready-made meals out of a can, out of a packet. Um, so preparing food from scratch is, is always a very, very good thing for students to do, undoubtedly. And um, skills with their hands, very often these young people, if they're going to use their hands, it'll be pushing buttons on electrical machines. So it's good for them to experience activities that are less dependent on technology and perhaps more traditional. I want to come back one day, I really do, maybe on my own when I'm older, which would be really nice to come back, come back and visit the places we've been this week. Really 